Hey, Kevin here, top one financial advisor and best-selling author, and we are here to talk about the stock market. Today, I want to answer a question about dividend reinvestment. So before I get to this question, I'll tell you how I found this question and then how we can all learn from each other real quick. So I got this question from public, but I got it in the DMs. I have 489 DMs on public. I'm trying to whittle those down. It was like 600 earlier. I'm just trying to, trying to get to me, as many people as I can. But if you really want your question answered, Ask it in the comments on public, ask it in the comments on YouTube, and or use Instagram to answer in the comments there. That is the quickest way to get a response from me. That is also the best way that you can get a response from me too, because that helps to, to boost everything. So in the comment section, we'll get your answer quicker. The DMs, depending on what's going on, I may or may not get to you. If you email me, unless it's a business inquiry, it, it tends to get lost because I get a whole bunch of emails from all types of stuff. None of that got this house and it's like, would y'all please leave me alone? So in the comments, if you want your answer, if you want to answer to your question faster, that's the best way to do it. All right, so uh, dividend reinvestment, what do I feel about it? What do you need to know? What should you do? All right, so number one, as always, depends on your goals. Some people have the lofty goal. I think it's lofty. Um, the lofty goal of I'm investing my money in these companies. It's going to pay me a dividend, and this is what I'm going to live off of. That's my passive income. I'm going to be good and set for life. I've had clients who have done this, okay? Uh, these were usually people who had millions of dollars or at least hundreds of thousands of dollars. The problem with that notion is that I think a lot of people use the words passive income as buzzwords for investing and getting these dividends, but not really telling you how much money you need to live off of those dividends. So I actually did um, some sort of analysis last year. You can go and check that video out on YouTube um, where you'll see that, you know, I think it's for Coca-Cola or some other stocks, where you needed like $1.7 million just to get $12,000 a year in dividends for that particular company. Now, every stock is gonna be different, depends on what you need to live off of, but usually you're gonna need several hundred thousand. Like, I don't really see people doing this with less than $500,000 invested in a company. And that's just one company for one dividend, and you might, right, you might get a good $10,000 out of that. Um, again, depends on what you invest in. So. I personally don't think that that is the best route for most people, but there is a way for you to use dividends more effectively for people who are all across the income range. Now, if you already got six, seven figures in your, um, in your investment account, then go for it, right? But if you don't and you're trying to build up from square one, I think dividend reinvestment is actually the best thing for you. So I wanna go over some numbers and then tell you how you can reinvest your dividends and give me one second as I pull this up. So this actually goes back uh, 25 years, but stops at 2018, because this is when they wrote this article, but it still holds true because we know 2019, 2020, and so far in 2021, the market is, is fine. So let's go ahead and look at it. So in percentage terms, the difference between um, between investing your dividends and not. So you could grow your money by not investing your dividends over the past 25 years. You would have grown it rather than the stock market by 325%, I'm sorry, 323% without reinvesting those dividends. So you get a dividend, you spend it, you get a dividend, you do whatever you want to do with it. You would have grown past 25 years, 323%. Now, how much do you think you would have made if you had invested those dividends? If you did that, you would have got 640%, nearly double over the past 25 years, from 2018, um, by reinvesting those dividends. Reinvesting your dividends is a big win, or can be a big win, one, assuming that your your company's paid dividends, some don't, um, and you do that consistently over many, many years. That is actually a very big key to success. It is the difference between eh, making some money and oh, I'm making some real money. And again, it's, it's over time. And here's how it works. So for example, let's say you, you own a stock, it's $100, and it pays a $1 dividend. Great. Your stock grows on its own. Let's say it grows to 110, you get a $1 dividend. You take that dollar and it goes right back into the stock and now you own $111 worth of stock. Then you get another dividend and then it continues rolling. You just keep adding on to the pie, piling on to the snowball, however, whatever metaphor you wanna use. And as that company grows, so too will your dividend and you keep adding, you keep adding more and more and more to that snowball as it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. That can be the key difference. As you saw, it can double your investment returns over time. Now, how do you do this? 
It's actually quite easy. It used to be pretty hard, at least it used to be explained in a difficult way. But you can do this on public in your settings uh, option. You can scroll down to dividends, actually pick a button that says boop, reinvest dividends. That's all you have to do. If you're using any other app or any other investing websites, you can call and say, hey, you know, can I make sure that my dividends are reinvested? Usually this is in the settings column or the cash management column. And it's really just a button that you click and it'll take care of everything else itself. You'll get a dividend, it'll reinvest it on its own and you're done. Again, all my dividends are reinvested. I don't think I have any accounts that I can think of right now that I decided I just want the cash because usually the cash is really, really small. Like I've had dividends, I can talk about this in my email, um, where I have, you know, a few thousand dollars in a stock. It's like, hey, you got a dividend of a dollar and 14 cents. What am I gonna do with that, <laughs> right? So, I'm, you know, it's, it's I wouldn't call it free money, but it's extra money, right? Um, but right now it's not really gonna make a difference for me. What would make more of a difference if I can make that dollar fourteen, even though it's really small, grow by 10%. Now I can do that depending on what stock I have. If I can make a dollar fourteen do it, I can make 114 do it. I can make $214 do that. And that's the purpose. So if you're getting these dividends quarterly and you're folding them into what we hope to be a profitable, strong company, then you're really gonna get a bigger multiplier effect. You're gonna add to that snowball and that snowball could be your wealth. So you definitely wanna do it in my view. If you're looking for long-term wealth and you're looking for long-term growth, reinvesting your dividends is a really cool trick that you can use to help increase your returns and actually protect you a little bit and reduce those losses to a degree. So check it out, super easy. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And that's it for me. Talk to you guys later, bye.